Hello everyone, Books with Banks back again with another video. Today I'm asking the question, how do I get more into Star Trek? This isn't strictly tied to books, uh, but I just kind of want to go through what I have or haven't watched so far of Star Trek, what sounds interesting to me, uh, give my favorite sort of sci-fi type of things, type of stories, uh, to see if I can uh, possibly get a few recommendations for which avenue I should kind of approach this massive uh, science fiction universe from. Uh, before going uh, too much into it though, uh, if you haven't already, it would mean a lot if you could pretty please like and subscribe. Uh, but now, uh, all that out of the way, Let's talk about what exactly I have already watched. Uh, so when I was younger, a kid, uh, my uncle had like the six earliest films on VHS and I always thought his like box set was really cool because the spines all made like one image. Um, and of those, I faintly recall when I was a kid, I recall watching Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, and Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Uh, and as a kid, I was much more entertained by Voyage Home than Wrath of Khan. Uh, then sometime around like high school, uh, my brother got more into Star Trek, uh, or at least more into the films. Uh, and he started watching all of the originals and moved into the Next Generation movies too. Um, and with him, uh, I watched Star Trek One: The Motion Picture. I also rewatched Wrath of Khan, and this time I could then, you know, I was a little older, uh, I could agree uh, and see why it was such a beloved film. Uh, that's specifically Wrath of Khan. Uh, and then I feel like maybe I watched the first 30 minutes or so of the third one, Search for Spock, and I caught a bit of the middle of like one of the later films, um, uh, like I believe it was Generations uh, is what it's called, where both of the captains are there and Malcolm McDowell's in it. I think that's the movie that I saw a little of the middle of. Um, and then when uh, they came out, I went to see the like three most recent um, reboot kind of movies and I enjoyed the first and the third ones of those but the middle one was a, seemed a little off a little weird to me uh, that one was uh, Into Darkness anyway uh, I also tried out the first episode of the original series uh, and it didn't really grab me but I also wasn't like as sure then as I am now whether or not I wanted to get into this world uh, so that's basically where I'm at uh, and now I'm asking all of you, where should I go from here? Everything I've read about Deep Space Nine makes it sound like I would really enjoy that series. Uh, or do you think that starting with the original series is the way to go if I plan on, you know, trying to consume as much as possible? Um, also, should I start with any of the newer stuff like Picard or Discovery? I've heard very mixed things about both series. Uh, further still, uh, I know there's a ton of books out there in the Star Trek universe, uh, and I would be really happy to know where to start with the literature. Uh, and uh, also, another question, should I return to the older films before starting any of the shows? Uh, yeah, if you're not sure what, like, about my personal taste, and so that's making it a little difficult uh, for you to know what to recommend to me, uh, let me give you just a few ideas of some of my favorite uh, sci-fi storylines, sci-fi ideas. So I love science fiction that plays around with, uh, like, limits of human perception, uh, like when other aliens can perceive reality in, like, different dimensions or different ways uh, than we can. I love stuff like that, so I'd be really eager to know if any Star Trek stories explore uh, that sort of thing. I also really love sci-fi uh, that basically takes like real world uh, genocide scenarios um, and or like uh, ethnic cleansing type scenarios and places uh, characters in the midst of like alien uh, genocide situations uh, and like intergalactic kind of or interstellar uh, like genocide sort of situations. Um, whether that's being preventing an impending one, or characters in the midst of a genocide, or characters recovering and trying to uh, make reparations for one. I really like when sci-fi tackles that sort of thing, so I'd love to know, uh, so with this idea, if any Star Trek series or films explore that uh, in particular. I also really like uh, time-altering sci-fi, uh, whether that be more strict time travel or more like the time stuff that happens in a movie like Interstellar. I also like sci-fi that plays around with gender and breaks free of the uh, kind of unfortunate binary conception uh, our real world still like clings to. Uh, yeah, so if any of those of my favorite sci-fi ideas um, plays out in any of the films, books, or series, uh, please let me know down below, and I very much look forward to getting into this massive uh, universe. 
Um, but I think that should do it for today. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.